Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a, a selective color adjustment like so. So essentially what we're going to be doing is removing all of the color except for a single color. Um, as you can see, in this situation, we've removed all of the color except for the green raft. Now, quick disclaimer on this, this is a sort of shortcut method. The real way would be to actually key out the entire thing. So because it's a shortcut method, it does have one caveat. If the color is not too contrasted to the background, this is not going to work. For example, if she was on a yellow raft because her skin is very close to yellow, it's gonna be hard to distinguish the two. But when you have high contrasting colors, you can do this pretty easily. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just create ourselves a new sequence with the footage here. So we're gonna click drag down to that plus and we'll have ourselves a new sequence right over here. Now, we then are going to open up Lumetri. I'm in the Lumetri color panel in the color workspace. It can be on the right here, or you can find it in your effects, drag it on, and it'll appear over on the left in your effect controls. We're gonna scroll down until we see HSL secondary. On here, we're gonna first set the color. So in this situation, we wanna be setting it to the green. So we click on this, go to the green, and you can see we set the color. Now, if you'll notice, it has not set all of the color. So we need to adjust these to fit that. The easiest way to do this is to use the add color button and to start adding some greens in here. So you can sort of just click all around the green and then we'll recheck the gray and see where we're at. So we've got a lot more of the green here now. Now we need to adjust these a little bit. This is the hue. So if we wanna select a little bit more of the green palette, we can drag this over and you'll see that we select just a tiny bit more of the green into the yellowish areas. In the saturation, we want to go ahead and bring that out as well. We want the non-yellows and the yellows. The outside edge is sort of a uh, feathered gradient, while the inside edge will take the entirety of it. In this situation, because the green is contrasting so hard, uh, harshly with the background, we can actually make this pretty large and kind of select all of the greens here. The luma value, so this is the brightness as well. We wanna make sure we get those dark greens as well as the light greens. We don't wanna go too far on this. As you can see, we'll start getting into the shadows and some bleed onto our subject. So we wanna bring that back just a touch. Right about there looks good. We can expand the, the overall edge though. Bring that back a touch. And now you can see we have basically the entire raft in here with nothing else selected except maybe the straw. We then undo this. And now if you see, if we go into the saturation, we can actually bring this down to zero. Well, this is fun because that means that we have the raft selected. So I mean, we could make it a, a, red, a yellow raft or we could make it a sort of into the purple-ish region. Um, some colors don't like to change too well, but you can sort of play around with it and change the color of the raft by moving this all around. We don't wanna do that though. We want to select the background. So we're gonna go up to our key, go to that color in gray and that checkbox we've been turning on to see everything. To the right of it is the invert button. If we click on that and then take our saturation and bring it down, everything but the raft will become that lower color, or uh, will become black and white. And now you can see we have successfully selected our color and we are good to go. Like I said, a very quick technique if you have high contrast in your shots. Another quick thing is, if you add like a touch of blur or something onto the selection, you can actually round out a bit of the imperfections and it'll make like, for example, when the water comes up and over, it'll make it look a little cleaner instead of sort of jagged and jumpy. But there you have it. That is how you do a selective color in Adobe Premiere Pro by using the secondary effect in the Lumetri color panel. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. Check out my course in the link below. It is a great course to learn Premiere Pro from start to finish by doing just this, tutorial-based learning. There's no sit down and read a book and then try to learn all the effects by reading through them. You're going to use the effects and we're going to make sure that we cover most of the effects by actually creating an end product from it. So by the end, you're going to have a ton of experience in creating a ton of different areas. Check that link in the description below to learn more about that. Thank you everyone for joining me. And until next time, see ya.